back here in the Bronx. He is the first rap artist in the entire world to release a solo record. And now he's trying to get into the Guinness Book of World Records. After being out of the hip hop scene for more than 10 years, Gabriel Jackson sat down with News 12 The Bronx reporter Amber Diaz to shed some light on the real godfather of hip hop, better known as Spoonie G. Question lover, the heartbreaker, so come on, fly girls. I was just imagine me being in that Rolls Royce or that Mercedes Benz or that Cadillac, you know, and um, I write about it. The love rapper, they'd call him. They actually called me Lionel Richie a rap. And even though it's not far from the truth, it wasn't his tracks about gorgeous women or Cadillacs that got him his nickname. Some people say Spoon is for scooping jeets for girls, but that's not true. With a spoon, I can get it all. I used to like to eat grits when I was young, you know. My mother, she would say, Spoonie, you know one day you have to eat with a fork. But there came a time when he had to put down the spoon when legal troubles got in his way. I made a bad choice. I made a bad decision. And I wound up spending a, a few years in prison, you know. And that really cost me. But he says he's been back for a few years now, and he's better than ever. I'm trying to get some good music, you know, and do some good shows with my man Cut King here. In 2008, Love Rap was ranked number 65 on VH1's 100 Greatest Songs of Hip Hop. It goes to show that Spoonie G is still on top of his game. You got to stay focused and don't give up on your dream and just keep on, keep on going. I want you to face me, and now, baby, don't get From Mount Vernon, Amber Diaz, News 12, The Bronx.